Hi everyone. I'm just going off the star today. For those who don't know me, I'm Mark Cooper. I'm the director of faculty at St. Paul's Studies. Yeah, come on. <laughs> this is Mitch, as I'm sure you all know. And I... <laughs> Hello, everyone. How's it going? Is it working? Hello? Is it working? Dare I ask, is it another one? Speak louder. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Shout. Hello? Yes. Hello. 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 I used to teach Mitch a few years ago, and Mitch, as you know, went into skins and, and stuff like that. And I think one of the things, the reasons I've asked Mitch to come and to be here today is so that he can tell you about his experiences. So it's, it's really an open forum just to ask Mitch anything you want to ask, really. Obviously not rude for stuff. Oh, so, I think we have to do a hands up thing. Who's asking questions first? Who's first? Right, who's asking? Oh, we've got a question over here. Uh, did you always want to be an actor? No, no. Uh, the truth is, uh, I actually wanted to be a dancer. Um, I started dancing when I was 11. And, uh, I started doing tap and modern and jazz and contemporary, some ballet classes. Um, and then I was going to go to London to study in London. And, uh, and then I went to college at Fielty. And uh, yeah, I, I ended up getting spotted there by a casting director called Jane Ripley for Skins. And I uh, just wanted to act it from there, really. Yeah. It was, even, even though I had done series one of Skins, I still didn't know if I wanted to be an actor or not. It was only really until I did the second series of Skins and then I realised it was, it was kind of like something that I was beginning to love as much as dancing and uh, yeah, I went from there and uh, it's a great art, it's pretty good. Who's next? <laughs> I never, I never went to an acting school. Um, I've taken some classes though. Um, Meisner's a great technique. Um, I would say it's one of the best. But um, it really depends which works for you. There's so many different techniques. Like method is so, it's an, it's a different way. Like you write backstories and everything, and you really be that character. Meisner's more about like finding the the real like. Getting something real from a scene, which is, um, you know, you start off by repetition and you're copying someone and what they say, and then you notice something changes. It's about real, real stuff happening in that moment. So, I would say to whoever wants to be an actor, like to study Meisner. It's a great and it's fun. The beginning is a bit tedious, but uh, it gets so exciting when you like. When you when you develop the when the the technique the technique's always like the tedious part when you like learn the beginning bit but the rest is just I, I think it's incredible yeah. it's an incredible way of learning acting and um, but like that might not work for you um, there's always uh, there's always method and um, that's that's fine and there's loads of others as well but, uh, those those are some of the classes I I've taken um, when I went to Los Angeles and stuff. Um, but before that, I was just doing dancing and stuff, and that was, one little, that was what I wanted to do. I was Gene Kelly was my idol, and um, I watched all those those old time movies, old Hollywood, which would, which I thought Hollywood was going to be like, but it's really not. And uh, but yeah, um, there's, he, he, there's, he's an absolutely superb tap dancer. We we uh, directed Mitch in a show a little while back, and. Uh, He's a quality, not only a quality performer, he's a quality dancer. You know, I believe that talent shines through and you need to work hard to get where you, you want to be. And yeah, you do need a lucky break, don't you, Mitch? But you have to work really hard. Yeah, it's about, um, sometimes it's about being in the, the right place at the right time. And uh, having that little bit of luck. But you know, if you, if you put all the effort and the everything that you have into into it, when that opportunity and that lucky time appears, you're the one that's going to be shining in front of everyone else. 
because I'm pretty sure you're not going to be the only one in that place when that luck could happen. So as long as you put everything that you have into like what you want to do in anything in life, if it's acting, dancing, singing, whatever, um, yeah, you just keep taking class, keep learning. You can never stop learning. Even the grades, like I go to classes in LA and they're, they're sat right next to me. You know, even the, the biggest actors like you know like Robert De Niro and all that, they still take class. They all they all take um, coaching lessons with their accents and stuff. Like you can never stop learning. So and reading books is great as well. It, it helps you helps you learn new things and uh, like like plays and. I just I have so much to say reading books either that one. No, honestly, it really helps. It really helps. The more you read, the more you read, the more you learn. And um, you can when you, you're asked to go into an audition and you have to improvise, you have so much on your mind, you have so much to say because you know so much more and I don't know, it's just I don't know, it's just like you just keep learning, honestly keep learning. Who's next then? God, I don't know. You know, um, when I I do like Dorian Gray. You know Dorian Gray. Um, I love Dorian Gray. Um, I like the movie they made as well. Of it. Um, I don't know. God, that's really a question. Musical. That's even harder. Um, God, so many hairspray. Yeah, that's a great one, isn't it? Uh, Mitchell, uh, we did a little bit of rent. Yeah, I love Rent. Rent's amazing. I'm not sure if uh, he chose the right director no. to make the movie. Um, I don't think he was street. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, my friends um, always say that to me. But Rent is amazing. I love Wicked. Wicked's incredible. Um, it's incredible. Um, I was actually up for the role of Fierro, but and, uh, uh, in the end I went to my life, so I didn't do the part. So. But, uh, yeah, but uh, wow, uh, I love singing in the rain because I'm Gene Kelly, so I like all the classics like, um, like Always Fair Weather and stuff um, like that. Uh, <coughs> wow, so many. And I don't know if you guys know, but Wicked's going to be made into a film. Already? Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be incredible. Um, and they're going to be have new songs in the movie as well. New songs in the movie, so uh, it's going to be exciting. Oh yeah, there's, there's too many musicals to pick from. I used to love Cats. I still love Cats. Cats is incredible. Uh, I always wanted to play a Mr. Mustafa's. Always. Um, wow. I don't know, what's your favourite? Wicked. Uh, okay. Before Wicked came out. Okay. That's a good one. So who's next? Has anyone asked these signs? Yeah, okay. What was it like? Uh, you know what? First of all, like, I didn't realise he was going to be gay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Do you know what? As an actor and stuff, I honestly do think like any role is just is given to you, and it's it's a pleasure to play a role. As as and. Uh, the, it touched so many people, like me playing that role, and I had so many letters and responses back, <coughs> saying that you like you helped me, like you helped me come out, you you helped me realize like what kind of person like like, like I who 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 I really am, and I think I think as an actor I, I don't or doing any kind of art I don't think there's any more pleasure in something than helping someone in some way and. Uh, like really touching someone, uh, and uh, I honestly don't think there's a there's a better better thing for your for yourself than, than to like really help someone out. But so so to answer your question, I, I, it was it was fine. It was it was honestly fine. Um, first of all, kissing a guy was a bit like awkward, and <laughs> my mom was kind of like ah, Mitch. But uh, <laughs> but I was like uh, it's okay, mom. It's okay. And, uh, but um. You know, it's uh, it's fine, and I, I, it was a pleasure to play a gay role. It really was. It was a pleasure to play Maxi and Skins, and um, I'm just so happy that it touched so many people and helped them with their lives. And um, you know, because it's a really big problem in the world. Um, there's so many kids that you know uh, kill themselves because of bullying for those reasons, and 
to for me to play, be able to help someone in that aspect of their life was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Basically, um, when I done the, we 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 filmed the first series and we got to the end of shooting, and then the, they realised we didn't have enough film for the first episode, so they were kind of thinking, oh, what can each character do, blah blah blah. And then they found out that I could dance. They didn't realise I could dance. So um, so literally we went on set. They were like, okay, um, we know you can dance. So can you just do something on the spot? So I had to choreograph like something within like five minutes and just film it there and then. And it was just sort of spontaneous, I guess. And, um, like I said, that like with all the learning and stuff, when you put in those situations, you know, you can you can really shine, which is you know, which is great. But, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> There's a question here. Yeah, go on. Hi, um, I'm the cat dancer. Is there any other kind of dance that you enjoy? Yeah, yeah. Um, I love contemporary. Um, um, I uh, I was really fortunate to. Uh, do some contemporary in uh, in skins at that dance. It was kind of a mixture of like um, street kind of hip hop with like African and contemporary. It was really really modern. It was it was beautiful um, uh, choreography by a, a guy called Hoffa Shekta. Like um, you should really see his work. It, it's so amazing. It's beautiful. It's fast. It's it's so like introverted. It's, it's really amazing and. Um, so yeah, I love contemporary. Um, I never really got into ballet. I never really got into ballet. I tried so hard, and I was just, you know, I was just, uh, the tights were, you know, I don't know. But, uh, um, modern, I love modern jazz. Jazz is great. I love hip-hop, hip-hop and street. They're great. And um, not one for freestyle, unless I'm in the club. <laughs> Whatever happens then. But uh, yeah, I really want to learn how to break dance though. So. <laughs>